very glad to welcome uh, Epnosol with my French fellows in Nice. And I would like to especially uh, thank uh, Frédéric Koshi Bianchi on the local team for the organization of this uh, conference. And to thank uh, French policymakers to attend this conference, and particularly in the round table this afternoon, because I know they have a very busy agenda. Uh, this meeting is a chance uh, to welcome you, but also to show, to demonstrate that there is a, a beginning of a French reflection on the issue of leadership in France. Even if this issue of leadership is, uh, has a political and scientific thought, is far from being as developed as in the UK or in some uh, Scandinavian countries, or even in some part of uh, the east of Europe. Uh, for, for us, the notion of leadership, uh, with my colleague Jean-Louis Dorway, appeared by hazard, after a meeting with Jim Spillane. Uh, Jim Spillane was invited in the French Institute of Education as a professor, and it was a great opportunity for us to discover the extent of U.S. research, as John has presented some aspects uh, this morning, and the, field, the debates within the U.S. research community about distributed leadership. And we translated one Jim's paper in our journal, uh, Education and Society, and I have to say that at this time, leadership was considered as an object by French researchers. So I had to write a short presentation to introduce the concept of the notion itself. Since I uh, have learned that gym research was beginning to be used um, in France, and that several papers have been published from his work in the journal Researches in Education. But it took seven years for the notion of distributed leadership to be taken seriously by a handful of French researchers according to the development of empirical studies. However, with John Widow Way, we doubled our efforts to make research on leadership better known and disseminated from our participation in EPNOSOL. So we organized a first international conference in April 2012 on the issue of leadership. Four books have been yet published in French, uh, one of which have been written with François Muller. We supervise a review of research literature at the French Institute of Education, focused on leadership. In December 2015, with our Italian friend from the University of Roma III, uh, Giovanna Barzano, she, she is here, and uh, Giovanni uh, Moretti is here too. Uh, we designed a special conference uh, for the South European countries, and the uh, publication is now under uh, preparation. And during the last two years, we organized with John Supovitz on the École Supérieure de l'Éducation Nationale, the National College of School Administration, uh, peer learning activities on leadership with French and US executives. So, how to explain? that the issue of leadership is not sexy, as the French policymakers said to us recently. I, I won't give his name. <laughs> the first explanation is policymaking. In France, education reforms in several years didn't focus on leadership. The intents of policymakers on the public debate is fo are focused on initial, in initial teacher training, curriculum, ICTs, assessment, but governance and management of schools are far from being the priorities of French policymakers. The second explanation is scientific. In France, there is no structured research field on school management and leadership. And the literature is mainly professional based and centered on public administration. And finally, there is a cultural explanation. The word leadership has no equivalent in the French language. And it raises false representation and sometimes criticism from researchers and practitioners. Management and leadership 
are considered as notions foreign from the Republican culture, imported from the English-American world, threatening the stability of the education system. We must say that this system, French system, is quite bureaucratic, hierarchical, centralized. However, I would like to balance this pessimistic vision. One can observe some changes in the French education system since several years. The French principle has been recognized as a pedagogical and educative pilot to say that the use the word management manager or the word leader is not used, pilot of the schools. But the French principle has to find a sort of balance in the school's management with the bodies of inspection. However, his action on school improvement, his action on teaching and learning is more recognized. The legislation has created the pedagogical board to help the principal to involve teachers on school improvement issues. And schools have the possibility to use a part of the budget to lead pedagogical innovations and to sustain school improvement. So these innovations have been successful and a lot of teaching teams have been committed to improve teaching and learning. But if you look at the principle, the principle in France is far from being recognized as a true leader. As several policymakers continue to say in France on some principles with them, there is an autonomy for schools, but there is not autonomy for principles. Principles are considered firstly as representatives of the state, and they have to obey and to respect the rules of their hierarchy. But in fact, when you look at the daily activities of the principal, they don't decide of many things. The curriculum, the recruitment, and the status of teachers, the school resources are defined by national standards. And evidently, it creates some problems of local adjustment on capacity building at school level. However, there is some possibilities to introduce the problematic of leadership within the French education system. Uh, sorry. Some, uh, uh, some of these possibilities will be discussed during the French session this afternoon. First, the introduction of self-evaluation of schools. Today, it is at the center of reflection of the general inspectorate. Self-evaluation is considered as relevant to facilitate school improvement, but also to facilitate initiatives on, respon on new responsibilities, and it could contribute to the emergence of leaders. The second issue is professional development of executives. One can observe evolution in the further training of principals and inspectors. They are more focused on peer learning, more focused on observation of practices, on evaluation, and this new type of training seems more relevant for introducing issues of leadership. But there are much steps to take. And the last issue is the networking of schools. With the introduction of the basic skill framework, more and more primary and secondary schools are working together. Principals and inspectors develop exchanges of practices on peer learning beyond their different professional culture. However, some structural challenges remain. Some structural challenges and some challenges in the field of research and policy. Structural challenges. The specificity of the department viscolaire in schools, school life, which manage issues of citizenship, attendance, disciplines, this department creates a strong divide between education and pedagogy, between administration and teachers in the classroom. That's the first structural challenge. The second structural challenge is the resisting status of teachers, uh, which maintains teachers in formal roles, on which impact teachers to take more role and responsibilities outside the classroom. 
On the third structural challenge is the interplay of hierarchies on powers at local level. It makes difficult a governance or local governance supporting individual initiatives on projects. And in France, there is currently some discourses among policymakers about the necessity to move toward a third step of decentralization. But there are so challenges for policy making on French research. Uh, it means we should better take into account the international research funding that has been largely worked out and developed in this network. The experiences from other countries, experiments which are led in the UK, in Scandinavian countries, and uh, in other countries. And we should include all this reflection in, a, in our own reflection, in a deepened reflection, which is not limited to the search of the one best way or to the, or to the search of quick fixes. It means a better articulation between research, policy and practice in France. The French education system lacks of mechanism of dissemination, mediation and translation of scientific knowledge into useful resources for policymakers and practitioners. So it's at stake too in the way the French educational research is organized and structured. It means the development of a nation, what I call in my book with François Buller, an engineering of reform capable of supporting change in schools in terms of professional development of principals on, of their teams. So, from my opinion, there are some conditions for the leadership to be a driver of change in the French education context. But I, hope, I have some great hopes, and I hope that French policymakers will be involved in this network in the future, and they will try to work hard all these uh, research findings and all the, uh, the expertise which has been provided during the last four years. But, of course, impossible is not French, there is a proverb, but I think it's quite urgent to roll up our sleeves and to meet this new challenge of leadership in the French education context. Thank you very much.